Hey everyone, and welcome back to Dead Mall Walking. Today we're turning back time to discuss the Eastgate Town Centre in Chattanooga, Tennessee, formerly the Eastgate Mall, where I visited based on a recommendation by a friend of the channel named Jaden. These are the exact words she used to describe it. Eastgate is almost unrecognisable as a former shopping mall. The whole place is filled with offices, with the exception of one locally owned store and a couple of restaurants in the food court, but it's the most interesting and the most untapped of Chattanooga's malls. Opened in the early 1960s, this place was originally 550,000 square feet, making it the largest mall in Tennessee for a few years. It now stands at 850,000 square feet of mixed office and retail use. So I decided to check it out for myself. The line between dead malls and liminal spaces is a thin one. On an average day, the liminal spaces subreddit is full of shots of dead malls, and vice versa. I don't have a ton of interest in gatekeeping the term liminal space, which is more than can be said for some redditors, but I do think it's worth quickly considering the definition of liminal. Quote, relating to a transitional or initial stage of a process, or occupying a position at or on both sides of a boundary or threshold. By those definitions, Eastgate Town Centre is absolutely a liminal space. It's in the process of transitioning from being a mall to an office complex, and right now, it doesn't quite feel like either. Just look at this long corridor stretching ahead endlessly. We'll see plenty more like that as this video continues. Defining whether or not something is liminal is rarely that simple. To quote the most common complaint on Reddit, not everything creepy or nostalgic is a liminal space. Even so, liminality is often best described as a feeling you get when you look at something, and that feeling is alive and well in Eastgate Town Centre. And maybe it's worth pointing out that that's always been the case here. These old photos of the mall after dark are proof of that. Even when this mall was alive and well, it still looked like something out of a liminal daydream. Or maybe a nightmare. Later on we'll see what this incredible water feature, a highlight of Eastgate, looks like today. If you're at all familiar with video games, you already know what an NPC is, a non-player character. In a typical video game, the world is populated primarily by NPCs who are destined to wander around the map following program behaviours, and perhaps talking about how they used to be an adventurer before they took an arrow to the knee. But even modern video game systems aren't capable of maintaining tens of thousands of active NPCs at one time, so most of them disappear when they're not on screen and spawn again when they're needed. I've tried to explain what being in this place feels like to friends in the dead mall space, and I feel like I come up short every time, but here's the best I can do. Eastgate feels like somewhere that NPCs go when they're not on screen. Now bear with me for a second, because I swear I'm not as much of a narcissistic sociopath as that last remark might make me sound. I'm fully aware that the people walking around Eastgate have their own thoughts, dreams and feelings, but seeing them in an environment that's visibly retail oriented but has hardly any stores is discordant. It causes a glitch in your brain where you can't figure out what they could possibly be doing there. I'm sure they all felt the same way about me. All of which makes me wonder if that's part of the attraction to dead malls in general. They give us, especially those of us who feel a little lost or anxious, a dose of main character energy. A friend in the scene once told me that he has a fascination with dead malls because he loves watching the collapse of capitalism. I found his point of view cynical in the moment, but I can see how all of this could function as an ego boost. Capitalism is failing. All of these stores are no longer here. But I still am. Enough existentialism for now. Let's get back to the sights and sounds of the mall like this incredible fountain, which is hands down the most impressive water feature I've ever seen in a mall. As much as I love Jasper Mall's little fountain, this one kind of puts it to shame. A 
According to their website, this mall is about 75% occupied. But that website is pretty outdated in several places, and I put the occupancy figure closer to 60%, virtually none of which is retail. Tenants include various agencies of the state of Tennessee, two satellite college campuses, a career center, and departments of human and children's services, plus a senior center, which is a poignant reminder that some of the people who visit this mall have been coming here their whole lives, or at least since it was completed in 1962, and the cemetery right across the street from it albeit a historic one that's no longer active today, underscores that the mall is one place that some of them will go every day until they die. Whoever said this isn't a vibrant and uplifting channel? On a more positive note, I do think it's good to see how Eastgate Mall has transformed into Eastgate Town Centre, and to some extent, done so pretty successfully. Occupancy is relatively high, and the parking lot was packed on a random weekday morning. It still feels like a dead mall for now, but you can also see how it might come to feel like something else in a few years. Quick aside, I only noticed while editing this video that the senior center still has their Christmas tree up. For context, I filmed this video at the end of March. But Eastgate's approach is actually kind of refreshing in a world where so many malls are being shuttered permanently and bulldozed. Without being a local, it's difficult to know how much value this place actually has to the community, but you can't fault it for trying. And if it means that fountain sticks around for a little while longer, I'm all for it. Thank you for watching this video, the release of which was delayed by a bad bout of COVID and some lingering after effects. If my voice sounds a little different, that's why. I hope you consider leaving a like and subscribing if you enjoyed it. My Instagram and Patreon, and some other ways to support the channel, are linked below. Until next time, goodbye from the endless liminal corridors of Eastgate Town Centre. Let's close things out with one more look at that beautiful fountain.